Well, welcome to the Naples Money Matters News You Can News. I was going to say good morning, but it's not morning anymore. It is not it's, morning. It's afternoon right now. It is very and much the afternoon. Gorgeous t day out here in Naples, Florida. Yep, you can see, see palm trees right outside our window. We can't speak, but we can see yeah, palm we're, trees. Yeah, we're slurring. But. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about a few things today of interest. We believe our interest. Uh, Marcus has got a few things um, he would like to discuss. I'm going to talk a little bit about the job vacuum that we have. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, treasury bonds and mm. real estate and then a little bit about scams. So I'm going to start with scams and then we'll move to your stuff, okay? Okay. All right. So, you know, you get all these scams. I, I'm not sure what you can see and what you can't see. So I'm just going to hold this up. This is a, an Internet scam. Mm -hmm. comes through looking very official. It says it's from mm. Costco. And right now I want to tell you there are so many scams out there I can't recognize them. It is impossible to know if somebody of credibility is really contacting you on your email or your text message, or if it's if it's somebody that's somebody that's un, non credible, uncredible, 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 um, and so therefore we don't click on anything. Yeah. And then people say, "Well, I sent you an email with your bill attached to it. Why didn't you pay it?" And 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 quite frankly, you know, you're right, Don. I I was going to say best practice is just don't trust anything. Like honestly, right? Like, then your, your your phone bill gets shut off or something. You know, I I, I tend to think, you know, it, it's hard. Yeah, I, I've never received a a scam involving like a utility or something like that. But yeah, like how would you know? Like a frequent one I get is that my my SunCoast bank account is uh, is overdrafted. So I don't have a Suncoast bank account, but I do have a mortgage through Suncoast Credit Union. Right. So. So obviously these hackers, scammers, whatever, were able to determine that the person with my cell phone number now—that's when it gets where it gets weird—has ha some kind of relationship to Suncoast, and then they're phishing. They throw something out there. That's what they call phishing. Yeah, they call it phishing, and that's literally what it is. Just like when you're fishing, you throw your rod out there, you hope to get a fish. The vast majority of the time, th these guys don't get a bite. But because it's such a low-cost endeavor, they get one, that's enough. So right. for every 20,000 people, they send this, this Costco email to. Yeah, this is a contest. Congratulations, I've won. What's scary about this is if you've just been to Costco, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you get a Costco <clears throat> email about something you just won. And so you, you think, well, I was just there. Right. Is this real? And it's really gotten to be, in my opinion, very, very difficult out there anymore to trust anything. So I think that, the, you know, if your phone gets shut off, you'll figure that out later. I just wouldn't answer anything. Yeah, you know, my, my, my practice, how I do is, is if it's something really important, they will get a hold of me somehow. So if it's a bill that I need to pay, they will get a hold of me somehow. It might be through a creditor <laughs> or a debt collector. But the hard part but... is they scam you on the phone. Mm -hmm. They scam you in your email. Yep. Right? They scam you on your text. There's no and safe they, communication. They even scam you on the mail. Yes, they do. Absolutely. So how do you know what's real and what's not? So I guess that is the philosophy. Nothing is real. It, it truly isn't. Nothing is real. Now, what I would, what I would suggest in, in these cases, like bank accounts, um, Costco, um, any of those things that you probably have an account. So you probably have an account with Costco. Log into your account. Yes, that's probably. If you don't see anything weird, right? Nothing's weird. Yeah, they've shut off my Amazon about a thousand times already. Yeah. You know, I haven't paid my bill, and all my passwords are going to be gone, and mm -hmm. whatever. And I was like, whatever. I just, just ignore it. I ignore it. Anyway, enough on that. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there because I think everyone. Amazon is another really good Ooh. example because I do get a lot of those. Like your thing has been delayed. Just check. Log in your Microsoft Amazon as well. Yep. Check your account. If you don't see anything weird. Trust your, I think that's probably the advice we want to give. Trust yourself. Use your login information to self verify. And nothing else. Don't believe anything else anyone else. Right. Me. Okay. That's a good advice. Yeah. All right. Let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Um, just a couple of market updates. Um, we had a, an inflation number come in. It came in a little bit hotter than we expected. And uh, that, that definitely caused the market to kind of pull back last Friday. We had, we had a pretty significant pullback on last we did. Thursday. Well, the whole Friday. last week was pretty awful. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty awful. It was kind of running on, you know, the, the market's been pretty exuberant lately with this idea that we were going to begin to taper, um, that the, the, the Fed rate rises are going to peter off. We still expect some this year. Uh, that, that Everyone believes those are on the table. But that they're going to be small, maybe a quarter point raise, and uh, this will be the end of it this year. Now, because the jobs, which John's going to talk about, came in so strong, 
and inflation continues to be high. Um, it is coming down, but it's, it's, it's being stubbornly high. And for some reason, the American consumer is just spending like crazy. Um, there's been almost no pullback in consumer spending, despite the rise in like, the cost of eggs, for instance. By the way, right. Florida is the second most expensive state in the union for the price of eggs, number one being Hawaii. <laughs> Wow. But, uh, yeah. We have um, chickens all over the place here. Right. It, it, exactly. You know, Dayton and I talked about that, that. It didn't make sense that for such an, uh, an agricultural-based state like Florida to have uh, such expensive eggs. But, but anyway, um, the big concerning thing insofar as the inflation data goes up isn't that the inflation is going up. It's that credit card debt is increasing at a kind of an astronomical uh, rate. Uh, Amongst consumers, I went and got. I was at uh, Home Goods, and I bought a, a fairly big purchase, like a couple hundred dollars. And I thought it was a point system I was sending, you know, I was signing up for, but it wasn't. It was one of their credit cards. Oh no! Right. So I got the credit card home, and I learned that the interest rate on new purchases, if you don't pay them off, I tell you to guess, but I know you can't tell me. Twenty-three. Yeah. Thirty-four. Thirty-four percent. Now I have excellent credit, by the way, so obviously they didn't check that. I have another credit card that I stopped using because, you know, if I didn't pay it that month, it's just the principle of the thing, it was 24 and a half or 25 and a half. This is insane. How is that legal? It, like, how it, is that legal? That is predatory of the highest, of the, of the highest caliber. You're charging someone almost 50% interest yeah. on a purchase. On a purchase. So I, um, I, we did a, I have this program called Kiss My Assets, another company that I own, and we did a whole program on interest rates mm -hmm. and what it costs you if you bought like a matching bathroom set that you really didn't have to have, right? right. And you put it on your credit card and you just paid the minimum payment. I mean, it's, it's unfreaking believable how much you, that bathroom set cost. And so many people are spending under this credit card um, illusion that they will pay it off. And most people never do. Right. They just almost, because it's too easy not to. I don't know about you, but when I grew up, there were no credit cards. Only rich people had credit cards. Yeah, I do remember mm -hmm. that time as well. We had layaway. Mm -hmm. Remember layaway, everybody, where you paid a little bit at a time, and then when you paid it off, you got the product? Anyway. Or even when, or even when going out of the country, you know, credit cards are so useful nowadays because you can go basically anywhere with right. them. But, you know, back in the day, it was traveler's checks. I remember no, that. Oh, traveler's checks, <laughs> just like cash. Yeah. So I know you're, you're talking about this, this inflation. So I want to talk about jobs yeah, for a minute. Yeah, it's a big component of it. So what we're having right now, and I guess everybody will notice this, companies are making their hours shorter or their days open less. Um, all different kinds of things to keep employees because they still don't have enough employees. Now they say that was loosening up a bit. It's really not. It's not even a little it's bit. It's not. And, and there's a different kind of employee out there. Yeah. there. There's a whole shift of who works, how they work, when they work, family life versus you know, work life, and, and the dynamics has really changed. But what I want to... Go ahead. Go no, ahead. but to, to, to Don's point, you know, one because we talk about this all the time, is kind of the shift in the dynamics, you know, not that long ago, when you think about it, the majority of American households were made up of a single breadwinner. Right. Who would go to work, and then, you know, a homemaker, whether or a not... A bread maker. A bread we maker. We call those the bread, bread makers. Bread maker, much better, much better. And that at least in my lifetime, is just, is just not the case any longer. Um, you know, even, even amongst couples, families of both high-income earners, um, both work. Right. And, any, and any, any kind of help you need, if you have children or otherwise... Oh, we don't even talk about yeah. daycare. We, could, yeah. we should do a whole piece <laughs> do a whole on, daycare on daycare because it drives me insane. Yeah, and the them, amount of cost And it everybody is. here who has children. But, um, yeah, it, 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 it's hard out there. You know, we are... We are in some ways busier, but less busier. It's hard to get away from the from from your job nowadays. Yeah. In a lot of cases, it follows you around. It, you it, know, unless you're a waitress or something, which I love. When you go home, you're done. Don always get, dings me for my for having my watch because I never. You know, He's like the Borg. <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> if you don't watch Star Trek, you don't know about the Borg. But they're always connected to something, and they can't function very well unless they hear something in their ear all the time. And we are becoming the Borg. I think that's fairly accurate. Yeah. I do, I do. Well, we're going to run out of time, yeah, so we, we, we're already all the way up there. But we my, digress. My whole thing I was going to talk about this job vacuum is this is going to come and bite everybody in the butt. Because AI, artificial intelligence, is taking over. Oh, yeah. It isn't going to take long for the world to figure out, I don't need a person. Mm -hmm. 
and because they aren't, they don't have them now, they're going to figure out a way to, to find a way to get their jobs done like the AI McDonald's without only one person on premises. Well, and, and to Don's point, because we're closing up here, but she's, she's absolutely right, and it's already begun. I know I've talked in previous series of this about chat GPT and those large language models. Yep. They're already being deployed in... Uh, in journalism, like uh, like BuzzFeed, I'm sure you've heard of the website BuzzFeed. They do a lot of garbage, like one-page articles about just pop culture. Well, those were typically written by a person. Now they're being done by an AI. Right. And the, and the thing about that is, this is not new. AI is not new. No. We are 10 years at least into this mm -hmm. cycle. So it's ready to, I think, it's ready to really balloon really right now. Really take off. And the, and, and the jobs is what's going to push that forward. Agreed. The, the lack of workers. So anyway, this is um, Money Matters, but most of all, and most importantly, to us, you matter the most. Have, Have a great, great day. day. Thanks. <laughs>